Hey everybody, it's Rob. Uh, I'm not dead. Uh, my eye healed up. Um, I'm in a different, I'm in a secret location uh, because my life is in danger. Anyway, um, it's been a while since I did a video. Actually, I did a video, but I got a little carried away and it was like three hours long um, after I edit, edited it and uh, I'm not even joking about that part. It got a little out of hand. Uh, maybe I'll finish that one day. Maybe after I die, somebody can, can finish it for me. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna try to keep things a little bit within reason. And um, I, you guessed it, uh, bought a pickup on eBay and uh, I'm gonna rebuild it. Um, I'm, uh, 80% sure that this is the right package um, It came like a week or two ago, and I didn't open it, and I'm not sure so We're gonna This guy oh, that's a classic. Here's what this guy did He's got this wrapped up in the shopping bag here But inside of it is a Priority mail envelope but, okay, this guy didn't do it. A lot of times I'll buy these. I don't know what these guys do. I don't understand it at all. eBay is not as much fun as it used to be. Because I used to be able to buy, like, a shoebox full of these old made in Japan. i got to give it to this guy. So we got the priority mail, and then we got the bubble wrap inside of that. If this is the wrong pickup... I'm going to be annoyed. It's not. It's the, it's the one I'm looking for. You used to be able to buy a shoebox full of these pickups for like 20 bucks. And now they're all on there for like 100 bucks. This one was not 100. This one was something else. But it's totally fried. And here we go. Um, it is on there as a base pickup but and it's got this uh, the uh, pickup ring uh, everything's pretty dirty but everything looks to be in really good shape actually the pickup ring has no cracks no big scratches nothing crazy like that uh, a little dent in the pickup cover I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I think you kind of can where it dips down there. Anyway, um, otherwise a pretty good, um, a pr pretty good uh, pickup. What we are going to do is, uh, so one of the things I noticed when I was looking at this, was that um, although it is advertised as a base pickup, if when I looked at the back, whatever this plate is, and we'll find out in a minute, um, they have it set up to where they could use the same plate for a bass or for a guitar. Very, very smart. Very good. Okay, so we got the pickup ring out. Looks like the cover is actually loose. So, well, I say that, and then it's, and then it's not loose. Oh man, interesting. Am I gonna be able to get this apart? I don't know, because oh, that's riveted in. Is it riveted together? Is that what's holding it? Yeah. Okay. So, we hit our first. Um, crazy roadblock this plate on the bottom is like an eighth of an inch thick that's crazy I can already see that there's a big coil in there and then it's sitting on a plate so this is actually a pretty standard uh, gold foil design that is probably a ceramic magnet sitting on a metal plate um, and it actually has some pull pieces on the side much like the uh, the Tesco and the Gaia Tone uh, 
gold foils had. Um, okay, so the way this, this works is um, it's got this uh, mounting bracket on the back and then it's got these little you can kind of see that so these L-shaped where the uh, hex nut is where the where the nut is uh, those are actually um, those are like either I don't know they are uh, welded, I don't know welded, can't be steel, can't weld brass, uh, something to the, uh, to the cover. So in order to get this cover off at this point, uh, I am going to have to, um, grind off these nuts because they're actually like flared out through both of those plates. Oh man, this is already taking a uh, taking a turn here, but we shall overcome. Um, all right, so I'm gonna find the Dremel tool, and we're gonna do that. So change of plan. Uh, these are actually really soft brass, so I am just I've got my mill bastard here, uh, and. Um, mill bastard. Is that backwards when you see it? Why is that like that? Is that supposed to be like that? Have I entered a parallel dimension? Probably. I had a feeling that was going to happen today. Anyway, um, so these are actually coming off with just a few swipes on the uh, got one of them. Well, I say that. Yeah, we're going to get them. I thought this one was going to be pretty, pretty easy. Maybe this one will end up being, maybe this will end up being like another three hour deal. Um, Probably not. Uh, it's not wanting to yield its secrets. Let's see if I can get this guy on there. I think I screwed it up already. I don't want to bend this all to pieces though. Maybe I should get the drill get the drill. Drill these suckers out. There it is. Pulled him out. Here in the Tone Dungeon, Newburgh, New York. This is like Frankenstein's laboratory. All right, that one came right out. Okay, so we'll check it out. Boom. So there's that. All right, so there's that big steel plate. Now, the big reveal. in good condition there you can see the little I don't know I guess that is kind of like it's welded but it's not you know they just arc it to the, uh, the brass there all right little okay so there you can see uh, the, even the top plate is set up for guitar or bass 
So there's that little piece of plastic. Might use that, might not. And look at that. What is this? That's funny. I wonder what that is. I guess that's to keep those from vibrating around. All right, so as I suspected, there is your ceramic bar magnet. There is the coil itself, plastic bobbin. Um, so, and there's a little probably retainer wire of some sort to uh, kind of hold these pole pieces in place or something like that. Uh, off comes, turn the, interesting, alright, so as you can see, you can see how thick that is, look at that, you know, like, cut this off of the frame of their pickup truck, so, um, I bet that I can get a reading on this coil, um, I don't want to, I don't think that I want to, uh, we'll see, I don't know, we'll see if we want to reuse it or not. Okay, so this is uh, an actual gold foil magnet, um, the real deal, um, before people have a heart attack. There's, these are all out of legit gold foils. Um, some of them have the hole where the rivets would pass through. Some of them do not, um, but they're all the same other than that. Same size, same thickness, same width, same composition. Best I can tell the same composition. Uh, probably, I'm sure there's gonna be some variation, but as you can see, on this magnet, uh, it is two and two point one six. Uh, so a little bit over. That's around five thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, two and five thirty seconds. So um, that's the total. So, but what you gotta remember is that's, and this looks like this one is, one point nine three. So this is one and fifteen sixteenths. So this is quite a bit, we're getting pretty narrow here. Um, you probably definitely want to want to put this in a bridge, um, but it will probably end up in a neck position. Now the holes on the, on the plate, which are untapped, they're one point. 1.94, 1.95, so right at 50 millimeters, which is a pretty standard um, size for those. So, as you can see, pretty crusty, but it, everything's intact. This pickup, uh, in my, by my metric, I would say is in very good condition. So, all right, soldering iron is heated up. We're gonna try to get this off of this plate, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's that guy. But all right. Oh, we're already falling apart. Here, let me pan down a little bit here. Oh, it's so messy. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry. Let's get this guy off of here. All right. Uh, uh, Ta-da. Okay, so I see the start. Can you see that? 
the start is right there. Um, and I see where the end should be. I see the hot from the lead, but I don't see anything going into it. Because the bit that's him. No, that was just a, I don't know what. All right, so. Oh, is it coming this way? It is. Okay. All right, so. That is actually, from what I can tell, still hooked up. So let's see if we can get this. So let's just see if we can get this insulation off of here. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see what the reading is, and then we'll decide if I'm going to rewind it or not. I think it's probably a good idea to rewind it just because of how narrow that magnet is. Um, Although it probably won't make a difference, but some of the string spacing on these uh, on those old MIJ guitars are very thin, so it might not have been a problem. So, but you know, it's funny because the string spacing on the uh, on the plate is 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 measurably wider than the. Look at that, 4.8, so pretty low, pretty low, so that, I'm definitely going to rewind that. Judging by the size of the coil, um, I don't know, it's hard to say. Here's the magnet, popped right out there. There's a magnet right there. Um, it's hard to say what size this is. Looking at the, because I think that that is, I don't think that's coil wire that I'm seeing. I think there's like a jumper going to the, uh, I don't know, man. I could try to put this in the coil estimator and figure it out. Um, it's it's maybe 43. It's pretty small. I don't know. I think if it's 44, it would be a little bit higher than that, even as small as this is. Um, so anyway, we are definitely going to rewind this dude and probably use a uh, different, there's that plate, there's that bass plate. So we're going to make it a guitar pickup. Uh, just, you know, do what they would have done. Probably the only, one of the really only noticeable damage, spots of damage that I see is that the, the black, uh, you know, insert here has this tear in it. But, of course, that is on the base side, so maybe I'll just flip this around and use it for the guitar, um, for the guitar side. Um, the pretty big set screws that are used for the, for the poles there. Um, the guitar side is not threaded, so I'll have to cut those threads. Um, but we're going to do that in another episode. We're just taking it apart in this episode because the name of the game these days is, I don't know, maintaining, uh, maintaining manageable goals or something. My main goals these days include not making my YouTube videos super long. Okay. 
So we are torn down. Maybe I'll use, man, where's that guy at? You know, I could just stick him in there. I've got a coil already wound with a old magnet. There it is right there, look at that. I tried to chop it down, the fiberboard. My fiberboard doesn't, doesn't usually look like I've chewed it up with my teeth. Oh, I got a ton of room in there. Maybe I'll do that, but maybe I won't use this one. But I'll make a new coil. Although that one's pretty good, and I can't remember what I wound this. I can't remember if this is 44 or, 40, or 43. I think I have enough room to use 43. I like 43 on these pickups. Um, it's a little brighter, a little more three-dimensional, um, but we'll see, we'll see. A little bit of dent in the, in the cover itself, but I will smack that right out of there. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop. Uh, is there anything else? No. All right. We're all taking apart. This is going to be a breeze to put back together. Really, I'm just going to clean it all up, and uh, and that's going to be that. As a matter of fact, let's see what this does real quick. Where is... Uh, see if this lacquer thinner works. I might have to get out the acetone. Katie hollers at me when I get out the acetone because she can smell it down the block. Katie has a unnatural sense of smell. We'll see. Maybe I'll let this soak in some acetone and it'll clean it up. It'll clean it right up there. Anyway, okay. And then this guy, let's see. I've said it once, I've said it again. The good people at the Windex Corporation. What did we say it was? Procter and Gamble? John S.C. E. Johnson. That'll clean up. It'll take some, uh, it's going to take some convincing. But that'll clean up too. We're gonna reuse a lot of stuff on this. It's gonna be good. Uh, this guy, really crusty. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. I mean, I know what we're gonna do about that. We're gonna clean him up. Get all this shit off of here. The only question is, how are we gonna keep it clean? I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll maybe I can lacquer pot this guy. And that'll get him sealed up. Okay. Alright. That does it for today. We got her taken apart. Um I'll probably I'll rebuild him sometime soon. Uh we'll see when don't know thanks come back for me putting this pickup back together and now i actually have a guitar to put it in it's gonna be great so talk to you later bye